So today I'm going to show you what I think would be the best way to drill out your oil pan drain on the SC300. So what I think we should do, here come over here and look in here. So I've made this mock up out of some 2x4s. So this is what the oil drain looks like. So this is the face, this is where your oil drain will actually bolt to from the turbo. What we need to do is punch through the interior in here to get to the inside of the pan. So I think the best way to do it without taking it off is take a center punch, find the middle the best you can, right? Mark it. Then come in with a hole saw. Alright. And then we're gonna we're gonna drill it. Drill some out. Alright, let me blow that out. Alright, take a look in there. So what we've got now is we've got our pilot hole, and then we've got the what the hole saw has been cutting. So what I would recommend next is actually take the pilot drill out of the hole saw. Because once the, the rim of the wood, or of the, the oil pan, once this area is cut, we don't really need this anymore. Make sure this is deep enough though. If you have trouble, put the pilot drill back in and drill a little bit deeper. It's important not to break through, not yet. So now we've got this true hole saw with no pilot. So what I suggest next is take a tap and tap that into that oil pan. All right, so we're gonna run this tap and you're doing it in aluminum so it should be pretty easy. And we'll just keep tapping that until we have some good threads in there. All right, then once you're satisfied with those threads, make sure that that hole, that pilot hole, didn't go all the way through. We want a blind hole. Then we'll take a matching bolt, we'll thread that into that plug we're trying to create. Alright, so this is the basic process. We're gonna, th we'll thread this in, we'll alternate between the hole saw and threading this plug in, threading this bolt in, to break off that plug. So obviously this isn't deep enough. So I'll go back to the hole saw, line it up. And I'll just keep doing that. I'll peck at that for a little bit. I'll put this bolt in. Try to wiggle that plug around break it free. That's what we're going to do. You're just going to keep alternating between those. Now this is wood. You'll be doing it with metal. So what you'll want is high speed and not a lot of force. We just want to peck going back and forth. And it's going to be a slow process, but this is going to be your least amount of chips. Hopefully you get, you know, about that far away from breaking through the pan and you can you can you know tie a uh, a wire around this, get some of that galvanized wire they got, and tie that around it. Then you can come in with a hammer while you're holding that wire, knock it in, pull it back out. I think that's the best way you're going to be able to get it done without taking the pan off. Now, if if you mess up and well, I punched all the way through, well then you didn't really lose anything. You're back to square one where you're going to have to take the pan off anyway. So as long as you think you do a good job and don't get shavings in the pan and then leave them there, you really can't mess this attempt up. Alright, well thanks. If you have any com uh, questions, 
Leave a comment. I'll address it. We'll make another video for you. Thank you.